Oh, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Pain, because everybody shall know pain. Let's get into it, shall we? There's a particular thing I want to talk about. I just, it's, it's, um, it's mainly, well, not mainly, yeah. It's only about, uh, pertaining to, I guess, getting new ninjas. Which is pertaining, which, you know, when I mention that, it's main focus on, is on the moment that I'm talking about is about, uh, Tachi and Sasuke, which I said in my own, I said in my video, and I kind of broke it down in terms of if I were to get them, what I have to do. You know what I'm saying? Like replacing Tonary and then, you know, who I have to get after the fact. But to kind of deep, to dive more into it, you know what I'm saying? Um, the whole, I guess, I'm going to say the whole thing when it comes to getting event ninjas, uh, initially, or that initially, actually, uh, the first thing that you might have people ask, is you know as I had said in the video, is this, you know is this a um, good ninja? Should I get this ninja and stuff like that? And in response to that, you always say, well, first we even consider getting this ninja. How much gold do you have? You know what I'm saying? Do you have your 40k? And you know how a lot of us older players or more not semi new players, but more of the I've been around for at least a year players that have you know have understanded. And been told that save until you have 40k and don't touch that 40k. You do the 40k investment, and have 80k, so you have that 40k to spend. That's number one. But you got those that, hey man, if they want to spend their gold, then so be it. But you do understand, like if you're someone who don't really top up, but you topped up to a point where you have enough gold to do investments, and then don't top up no more, like me, is I I never got in a situation where. I used to follow my goal and now I'm screwed. That never been the fact. I used to a big amount of my goal. I think a good example when I got Tonary, I think I went down to, I think under 20k, I think, because I had to do, I had, I had to do the eight, I had to think, I had to do the 8k investment. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I never really pushed myself to where I can't do anything, and I mean anything with the current goal that I have. Well, with the goal I had during then. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of like the first thing you always tell somebody is that we always tell new players if someone asks, save you go until you have 40k. If you want to spend, I don't advise doing that because again, you're telling this to a new player, I don't advise spending your gold, but I recommend it's not, oh, what is it? It's not, um, oh, what's the word for it? It's not, um, hey, it's, it's recommended, but it's not, it's not mandatory. It's that like you don't have to save to 40k. But I recommend it. And then on top of that is now when someone say, okay, then should I get this ninja? My response is evaluate evaluate your team. If you have no event ninjas and you like, you know what, it's gonna be my first event ninja. That's a bold statement. It is a bold statement. But that's the difference between newer players that's gonna have that goal versus kind of the older players, I guess, because you can save and save and jump and get one of the best ninjas out because your team is not up to par to most of those be higher VIPs, mid VIP um, teams. So, in response to saving up 40k, I DC. Okay, never mind. I I would say you know um, save and then when you're ready to spend that extra 40k good, which nowadays. If you're trying to get a new ninja, you need more than 40k. So you need two investments. You need to have 120k untouched. So you have 80k to spend because new ninjas from PM is going to be 45, 50, 55k. And if you're unlucky, yeah. So saving 40k is no longer a way to get your ninja unless you have coupons and you want to go ninja treasure. But I'm talking about brand new ninjas just dropped. When they're in their own events, that's a whole different story because they're gonna cause an arm and a leg. Not literally. I hope you guys get what I, the, my figure of speech. It's gonna cost a lot. So that makes it where instead of saying save until you have 40k, save until you have done two investments. It means save until you have 120k if you're trying to get a new ninja on release. And that new ninja is released if, and if that ninja if and if that ninja is released on 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 PM, because they're not gonna be no 40k. 
it'll be like 45, 50, 55K. Now, once you've done that, you can get every ninja you want. But I guess back to the whole Tachi and Sasuke, just so if someone didn't see that video and watch this video, and, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? It's just, again, by me replacing Tonery. Because, as before I even say about that, me replacing Nagato with Saratobi, I lose dropping their defenses. Actually, no. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Tonery does the defenses. I think both of them do that. Yeah, both of them do that, but Nagato um, boosts their by the attacks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Nagato increases his own speed after he's killed by 20%. He's a Fury Gen. And he, um, well, he does the attack, defense thing, the speed thing. He's a Fury Gen. And uh, is it one more thing he does? Uh, I don't believe so. So our Toby comes in and replaces that. Now he said, okay, what did you gain? Gain more HP for the assaulters. I gained speed for everybody. Cause remember, now it's only increases his speed by um twenty percent. So at two rounds. So I told him, I can do something better. I'ma give everybody twenty five percent extra speed. Bam, you're good. Oh, let's not forget he's a fairy gen as well. And he's a DLT. When he attacks, he Lowers my opponent's attack and avoid injury rate. So I no longer have that attack draw, which is okay. Because it kind of counteracts. Because I think he when he boosts the air by the attack, I think 20%. Yeah, no, that's what Naruto does. And Naruto becomes to lowers their attack after he's buffed by 30% and avoid injury rate. So that means it's it's avoid injury rate works better than defense drop. Because you know you'll lose you'll lose a lot more. You'll lose um you'll take more damage. So right there. Bam! Saratobi covers everything that I lose from Nagato. Technically, because again, the attack drop and the avoid injury rate drop after these skills kind of work hand in hand, having the attack boost and the defense drop. The avoid injury rate is like the defense drop, but way better. And then the um, attack drop works something like our attack increase works hand in hand. I did not do this in uh Actually, I did it at reset. And just have the one thing, the one reading thing to do. Okay, guys, I am back. And now, we go back to Tonery. In terms of what do I lose when he's replaced. Dang it. As you get, uh, we lose the defense drop. But that's fine. Sorry, Toby got that covered. Technically, um, he makes my supports immune to stun. I guess that's okay. You know what I'm saying? He makes my um my assaulters what his has his brain makes it where my supports have I think an extra twenty percent uh, strategy attack and boosts up their HP. So losing him, I lose that. He's a fairy gen. That skills every single round. So you lose kind of that extra damage that he does, you know, based on whatever theories over a hundred. Um he can stun you. That's okay, because these new crowd controls are just no one's immune to him, but you know what is immune to him? Most um most of the PvE stages. And stun can come in handy for me. It, well, well, when I say that, oh, you lose him. Yeah, my extra formation, yeah, he's not there, but I can still use him. It's not, it's not a big deal. Like, oh, let me just take off Tony. He's always going to be there, so I can um utilize the stun if I'm having trouble. And so, you know, all the stuff that Tony has, and you kind of look at, and it, I even thought about it yesterday when I was like, you know what? Now he not to, he makes it where uh, what they. They make it where uh, my supports. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's just a, when they skill. Yeah, when they skill, their attack goes up. Their strategy attack goes up. I think about twenty five percent. And so if I keep Tonery, him be his brain gives them the boost, and their skill gives them the boost. 
So that's interesting. Uh, I, you know, by me choosing them over Kaguya, I do lose the um, defense increase to my main in Kaguya, making him a little bit bulkier, and I do lose that um, that speed that um that Kaguya does. So it, it's just all in all is if you're someone that has a bit ninjas and you're thinking about getting the newest ninja before you do that you have to evaluate your team that's kind of like what I, I try my best to do a lot of not in, in newer players slash new slash um um semi new players when he asks should I get this ninja and I say look at your team what is your team you know how much gold do you have and you answer those questions about how much gold do you have? I would say you just save. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get your if you want to go and get your ninjas, then just do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't you know obviously not recommend it, but it's not mandatory. It is your account. And then when you get your ninja, you know, when you do decide to buy a ninja, look at what ninjas that are available. Because you can say you want this ninja, but yet you're probably not gonna have enough gold to get them yet. See what I'm saying? And by the time you do get your ninja, there's probably at least two more ninjas released. Not, you know, all of a sudden, you know, not the same. You know, they're all going to be in the same um, part of formation. Because you can be like, oh, this is a support one. Next one might be a support. Then we got, an, then we got a Vanguard and Assaulter type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Which is like, you know, um, I can't say that's their pattern, but I, part of me feels like it is. But hey. They do exactly what they want. They want to mix. They mix and match. Actually, before I do this, so um, yeah, it's just save. If we do buy a ninja, just determine who you want, or actually determine who's available before you make any decisions, and then evaluate your team. If you have event ninjas, understand what you're losing to get what you to um to replace. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. And like some like like you know the knowledge that I I have on the game is kind of like that type of thing was never I can't say it was not that was not told to me, but it's, I think it's one thing I kind of learned on my own. It's just now you eventually learn that well replacing this ninja, what do you lose? But then what do you gain? Yes, a ninja is gonna have crazy behind ropes, but just personally when you look at it, what do you lose? You may when you do that. You know what I'm saying? One, two, three, four, five. So I'm at 189, 106, and 47. Uh, Mount Mia Foca. Do I have any to? I think I have a few fairies. Yeah, you know, just a 20. Now I was doing this. Well, actually, I have 30 actually. Can't do you until at least two days or three days. Did you? Did you? And just save until I eventually want to see how much I have. Saving you. Yeah, that's it. Just gotta do this real quick. And I do, and I believe I now have 9 million PvP. Uh, PvP 9 million PvP. BB, BP, yeah, I say, I'm about to say BBP. And I mean, I guess, I mean, me, me as a person, like with that type of stuff, is I'm more of a, I am an observer. I kind of like, you know, I guess, I'm an, I'm, a, I'm an observer. I analyze things, you know what I'm saying? I'm obviously, you know, when you first play the game, you told to do, you know, your, you know, your tots. Oh, you know, you, you know, people tell you like, oh, you can do this, do this, and do this. But obviously, now after a while, it's kind of like, you know, I'm, you know, um, you understand the game and make decisions on your own and then understand it. You know, what I'm saying, and, and I always, and the last thing I always say is no regrets. If you get a certain ninja, tell yourself, do you regret getting that ninja? Come on, really? But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because you gotta wear, oh man, I got this ninja and I, I don't think, you know, I don't think it was the right buy. Do you think it was the right buy? Personally, whatever ninja you're saying, I can say that was a bad buy. To be honest. 
but we don't judge. So I say instead, do you regret getting that ninja? If the answer to that is a little bit of a new, a no, I said new, a no, that probably wasn't a good buy. Well, actually, it wasn't a good buy. If you say, uh, you know, I regret getting this ninja, it wasn't a good buy. But it could be a good ninja, you just somehow regret it for some reason. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's like, you know, anyone can tell you that's not a good ninja, that's not a good ninja. What do you think? It's your team. And also another thing about getting certain ninjas is, what do you deal with? What are you having trouble with? You know what I'm saying? If you're having trouble with, and you still got to do PvE stages, if there's some people you want to beat that you just can't beat because they outspeed you or certain things happen, that's the one thing you also got to keep taking consideration with certain ninjas. You look at them. Don't look, look beyond their growth because they're going to have crazy growth. But does the skill help you in any kind of way? That's the last question you ask yourself. Look beyond their growth rates, those tens, those elevens, those twelves, high behind stats, and ask yourself, does this ninja allow me to do things that I haven't done before? But um yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you guys later to the road to still rabbit goddess Kagua. To the road to 9 million BP. To the road to 1,000 subscribers. Do see.